Hakuna Watata, my friend. The one thing that I just, you know, realized yesterday I'm shooting is that this 16 to 35 one is focusing in making some, some, in making some, some noise and But when I'm using the 24 to 70, it does not make, you know, Mark II does not make any of those noise. Because we know that this lens is already compatible with the C70. All right, so I also the second thing is that, you know, as soon that I put the 16 to 35 and sorry to you tell you that this with the current combination of the lens and mount adapter some function performance may not be precise visit your local canon website for more detail so basically right now the canon c70 does not recognize the 16 to 35 mark ii and certainly because the speed booster is not updated to the latest firmware that's what is the issue, certainly, but we'll find out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to update the speed booster and we will compare, we see, is it that's only the issue. All right, so stay tuned. So before I go to updating that, I'm giving away this Maverick Air Drone when I reach 1,000 subscribers. Three simple things for you to do. First, subscribe to my channel. Second, like this video and third in the comment box below write your name say i enter so when i get thousand subscribers one of you may win this mavic air drone let go and update the firmware so first and let get the firmware so i went to i just type on google for example something like this just type download for 0 0.71 adapter no. and then I got that list and I just select the first one so we've got the current mount adapter EF to EOS R 0 0.71 time so I click firmware and here I got the option so I'm going to select uh, Mac and download great so i'm going to download it download and open it straight away so okay so here i have it so let's open let's open the instruction to see how they ask so certain it's going to be the same procedure as updating the Canon C70. So if you have not, because I have a video how to update up, update the firmware on the Canon C70, if you have not watched that video, so here is the link. So go watch it. So copy. So well, basically, the first thing we need we need to copy the firmware in the SD card. And first and foremost, you need to format the SD card. So you format it. So you format the SD card. So let me go and copy it into the SD card. All right, that is done. I copy in the SD card. So I'm going to remove the SD card. I'm going to insert the SD card with the firmware. All right, so here we are. So we're still in the system setup and then in the number nine so we got the firmware so camera is fine 
So mount adapter, but it's not selecting. Basically, you know the mount adapter is grays out. Basically, it's not selecting the mount adapter. I don't know what is the problem. So let me completely come out. I mean, they're saying that if the screen is not displaying, the firmware may not have been correctly copied. So I'm gonna copy it again. Okay. Copy to the root, so I copy to the root. I try one more time. Okay, so it wasn't copied properly. So when you copy the thing into the root, make sure that it's co copied properly to the SD card. So now it's on copy. So now I'm gonna yes, catch them. Yes, okay. Yes. Update now. Warning, do not turn off the powers or touch any button. So I'm just gonna hold it like this for it to finish updating. It's almost, it's almost updated. Updated complete. All right, it's updated. The mount adapter is updated to 1.2.0. So we have the latest firmware update now. So let's get out the, this and let Try to connect the lens, the 35, the 16 to 35. And we we'll see, are we gonna have still the same problem? So now it's connected and I have not seen any of the message that is displayed before where it says the lens is on in this message. So now it's connected. Maybe I'm going to turn it off and turn it on. Turn it off. Turn it on. All right. No message. Yeah, and then let's see. So also the sound, the sound as well is gone, but definitely there is no more of the issue that this lens is not compatible. Okay, guys, so that's what I have for you. And I hope you find this video useful. And if you did not know that you are supposed to update your uh, firmware for the speed booster, you know it now and how you know how to do it. So I am pleased about that. And if you find this video useful, please do like it. Like this video and tell me, what do you think? Yeah, okay then. Thank you very much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Ciao for now.